Hey everyone, welcome back. I have a few more Dollar Tree Halloween DIYs for you today. These are actually the last of them for this season, and I'm gonna be starting on Christmas DIYs soon, so stay tuned for that. If you're new here and you like home decor and DIYs on a budget, stick around by hitting that subscribe button and ringing the bell for notifications so you never miss out on a new video. All right, let's get started. For this first DIY, I'm gonna be making the tomato cage ghost that is trending that I see everyone make. And instead of using tomato cages, I'm gonna be using these wire baskets from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna be using everything from Dollar Tree for this. And I just took three of them to make one ghost. I placed one of the baskets upside down and then I put another basket right side up on top of that. And I used zip ties from Dollar Tree to keep them together. And then I placed the last waste basket upside down on top of that right side up waste basket and zip tied that down together. And that gave me my ghost structure. And then for the head of my ghost, I'm gonna be using these styrofoam skulls from Dollar Tree. I just hot glued it on top of that waste basket upside down so that way the base of the head kind of stands out more. And then to make these light up, I'm just going to use some battery operated fairy lights from Dollar Tree. I just wrapped it around the waste basket uh, and I just put the battery pack underneath the bottom waste basket. And then to make the actual ghost part, I am going to use a white shower curtain from Dollar Tree. I just placed it over the top of the styrofoam skull right in the middle so that that way it draped over nicely and it was a little bit long at the bottom so I went ahead and went around and just basically cut the corners of the shower curtain just to make it lay a little bit flatter um, and so there wouldn't be too much fabric at the bottom or well this is plastic a plastic shower curtain so it wouldn't be too much plastic at the bottom and I didn't mind the tattered look because I mean it is a ghost so so I think it looks good like that. Um, and then to do the eyes, I just picked up some of this black fabric from Dollar Tree. Sometimes they do have black felt, but I couldn't find any at my Dollar Tree. So I just picked up some black fabric and I just cut out some ovals for the eyes. You can also put a mouth on if you'd like to. I just did the eyes and I just used some hot glue to hot glue the eyes to each one of the ghosts and that was it I just tripled this and made three ghosts for around $25 I think they turned out so adorable I love how they looked and they were super easy and super inexpensive to make you can put them outside or inside for the next DIY, I thought why not go ahead and make some witches like I made the ghosts, except for I'm just gonna use black wire baskets from Dollar Tree and black zip ties to hold them all together. Now for their heads, I'm going to use these 3D wreath forms from Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna attach them to the top wire basket with some zip ties. Now I would suggest when you're placing the heads onto that top basket, the zip ties are hard to get through with the bodies all together. So I had to use some needle nose pliers to force it through. Um, so I would suggest putting the head on that top basket before you put that top basket on the other two baskets, if that makes sense. So that way it's a little bit easier for you. Save yourself the hassle like I had to go through. Um, and then, once they were all put together, I'm gonna go ahead and take the black rectangle tablecloths from Dollar Tree, and that's gonna be the dresses. So I just draped them over the heads, and I'm going to use some twine to zip tie at the neck, so that that way the head is more defined. So I just tied it around that uh, the bottom of where that 3D wreath form is in the basket meets. And then I kinda just pulled a little bit on the 3D wreath form where the tablecloth is just to kind of pull out a little bit of that tablecloth so that way it would be just a little bit more 
bubbled. And then for the cape, I'm gonna use one of these creepy cloths. I just tied it around the neck, again, where the twine was tied around. Um, and then I just placed one of these witch's hats on top. I got these witch's hats from Amazon. I'll leave a link to them down below. I made all three of these witches for around $30, and I think they turned out pretty awesome. I just put a spotlight on them outside, and you could add a little color but they are super cool for Halloween. This next DIY is another popular one that I have seen everywhere this year and that is the bubbling cauldron and I wanted to recreate this from all Dollar Tree materials. So for my cauldron, I am going to use this stainless steel mixing bowl from the plus section at Dollar Tree. It was $5, but you could use a $1.25 bowl. They have a ton of them to choose from at Dollar Tree. I just like this one the best. And then I used three wooden beads I had in my stash and I hot glued those to the bottom of the bowl to give my cauldron some feet and then I spray painted everything with some matte black spray paint. Now for the bubble effect, I found these iridescent and white glittery bulbs from Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of five, and I picked up eight packs of them for this DIY. So I have 40 of them all together. Uh, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is because I don't want my bulbs glued to my cauldron, I'm gonna take a piece of parchment paper and I'm just gonna trace the top of the cauldron onto that parchment paper and cut it out and then I'm going to use that as a template to place my bulbs in a circle around so that way I know that it's big enough because I'm going to be creating a bubble topper for my cauldron instead of gluing my bubbles to my cauldron. So I just started hot gluing the bubbles in, or the bulbs in a circle, and I glued them together, not to the paper or anything like that. I just glued them to each other. And then once I got a full circle, I just started hot gluing the bulbs just kind of up and around and overlapping each other to cover up that middle part. Um, and so that that way you couldn't see the middle section and it was all covered with the bulbs. I also made sure that I took off the silver pieces on the bulbs before I hot glued all of these together because I don't want those little silver pieces where you hang the bulb from on this. You don't need those. Um, and then I just alternated the bulbs and the colors back and forth just to kind of mix it up and uh, not keep them the same. Now, the iridescent bulbs, there's two different types, which I didn't realize that when I picked them up. There's more of a bluer type, and then there's more of a darker gray black type. So I didn't realize that, but I think both of them are pretty and I'm glad I picked both up. So that kind of mixes it up and makes it look more authentic. Now, once I got the circle all full and the top kind of filled, I put the topper on to the cauldron. I just set it on top there. And then I took some more of the bulbs and I just hot glued them down the cauldron. So again, I did not hot glue anything to the cauldron itself. I just just hot glued the bulbs together. So I am just finishing off here by finishing up gluing the bulbs all around. And then once that was done, I am gonna go ahead and take one of these LED misters cauldrons from Dollar Tree. They are in the plus section, or you could use the diffuser, whatever you have. And I just place it inside. You just put a little water inside there and it creates the mist. And then it's also color changing. So it gives that effect. I added some fairy lights around the bulbs that I just got off of Amazon. I'll link those down below. And I added a little bow. I love how this turned out. This next DIY was inspired by all the floating candles that I see. Now you can get these on Amazon. Uh, they can range anywhere from $15 to, I think I've seen them around $50. So I decided to pick up some of these LED emergency battery operated candles from Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of two. I picked up five packs, so for around $6, I could make myself some floating candles. All I did to make them float was use some fish 
fishing line. I stole that out of my husband's tackle box and I just tied it around the wicks of each of the candles and I reinforced the knots on those with just a dab of hot glue so that way they wouldn't slide off. And then I just hung them with some command strips on my bookshelf. You do have to turn these on and off by twisting the bottoms of them. They don't have a remote, unfortunately, so that is a downside. But um, I was hanging these from my bookshelf, not from a ceiling or anywhere super high. So they are easily accessible for me to easily turn them on and off when I want that floating candle effect. I think they are really cute and turned out really pretty on my bookshelf and adds that little spooky touch without spending a ton of money for Halloween. So I think these turned out really perfect. This next DIY is really easy. I just took one of these witch and cauldron wooden cutouts from Dollar Tree. And then I'm gonna take one of these metal broom handles from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna cut that in half. Now to cut this in half, all I did was bend it back and forth until it broke off. Uh, so it's hollow on the, in the center, so it's pretty easy to break apart once you get it started. And then I'm gonna take the bottom half of the handle that I tore off with uh, the threaded part on the bottom so that that way I can stick this in the ground easily and I'm going to create a stake for my witch and cauldron. So I just hot glued that piece to the witch and then I also used some duct tape to reinforce this so that way it wouldn't fall off um, if the hot glue didn't hold perfectly especially if it's hot outside. Then I just spray painted this all black just to make it look a little nicer Nicer, so that is totally optional. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this out in my yard in front of my house on a pretty empty wall uh, in the front of my house. And I'm gonna take another one of those metal broom handles and a mallet to start out my hole. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my witch stake in the ground. Then when it turned dark outside, I took a paver that I had lying around and I'm gonna take this LED waterproof flashlight. Uh, you could use a spotlight, a solar spotlight, whatever you have I got this off of Amazon and I'm just gonna shine it onto my witch and cauldron and it's gonna create a really cool shadow effect onto my house so it has that witch and cauldron casting onto my house it looks spooky and cool it's a cheap and inexpensive way to get some cool Halloween decor for outside all right, that is it for these Halloween DIYs. I hope you enjoyed this video today. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.